On a cold February in New York City, a violin and bass duo gather to play live music for passersby. The stage? An empty storefront. It's not where musicians traditionally play, but amid the pandemic, very little has been normal for New York artists. It feels like I'm in a pet shop a little bit, <laughs> but like in a not unpleasant way. It's just, it's a whole different experience. It also marks the first time in almost a year musicians like Oppenheim have been able to perform in front of a live audience. Concert venues and performance spaces in New York City were ordered to close on March 17th of 2020 because of the pandemic. Artists have largely been sitting idle since then. The governor of New York recently announced a free pop-up arts series to help revitalize the livelihoods of artists. Many of them have been out of work since March. So uh, we're going to accelerate that reopening with 300 plus pop-up arts events all across the state. The pop-ups will feature performances by artists like Renee Fleming, Chris Rock, Hugh Jackman and more. The date and location of the pop-ups will not be announced beforehand to avoid crowding. This pop-up event was organized by the Alphadine Foundation, which employs artists whose live gigs have been canceled due to the pandemic. The foundation has organized 60 shows featuring over 100 artists from chamber musicians to Broadway stars. Musical storefronts is our way to bring live music back to New York City and to be able to hear our amazing artists here in the city who have been missing performing for audiences for sure. The performance drew a rapt crowd, creating some much needed joy in a city that has been hit hard by the pandemic. It's refreshing, it's really great. Like just being out here and hearing it, it, it reminds me of the magic of New York that you know it's always there, but this is sort of like lighting it up again. Governor Cuomo says these pop-up events are just the first phase in the plan to revitalize the arts in New York. If all goes well, the next step will be to reopen performance spaces like the Apollo, with a cap on the number of audience members and proof of a negative COVID-19 test result. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.